Alright crew, things are definitely not looking good as we saw last time. The, the ship is getting attacked by these electrons that are zooming everywhere all around you and I have to um, entreat you to use your deductive powers because as you see this scenario is not going to be gentle, in fact it is going to be very rough and the sooner you figure out a way to stop the violence the soon the better. Um, Things aren't all that bad. A lot of modules got damaged. Okay, that's bad. Uh, those can be fixed, though, so that's good. And both of your engineers managed to um, dodge the first onslaught. Uh, the the ship that's that you're against isn't that terrible. It's actually a, a much smaller than your ship, so that's good. Um, your military guys are still okay, so that's good. Your scientists, however, are about... Um, unconscious. They're close. If they take another hit like they did before, uh, they're going to both be unconscious. And the problem with that is you need to use science in order to even win this mission. So if you think they're going to go down, uh, it might be a good idea to just try to escape. Um, you do you do have Calbot controlling the ship though, and that's very useful. He gets to do. Um, he can act on any module that's that's a, that's has crystals hung up on it. Uh, once per phase, so that's that's pretty great. The ship can can do some things to help you. So we'll see what happens. Um, yeah. Okay, somebody get working on improving the shields. I'm busy fixing the bow cannon. That's the bow cannon. Okay, I feel a little bit better now. We're on the road to recovery. Um, the scientists have both healed themselves, which is great. We need to have scientists in order to do this. Not that other people can't use the science bay. Um, I think a few people have some science skill, maybe Capazoid. Um, I can't think of anyone else off the top of my head. I, I'm sure they have a smattering of it. Um, but they don't get the professional re-roll, and they don't get as big of a bonus because they're not specialized in science. So they're all better, and that's great. Um, Corpulent Runt, she actually has some decent hit points. They're 11, which is which is pretty decent compared to Dr. Zush, who has only 6. Um, the Engineers and uh, Cowboy helped also. They got a, a lot more power to the shields. The shields are almost maxed out. Our maximum is 7 because that's the size of the ship. And so uh, some some energy moved from the helm and then um, also pumped the engines a couple times. Not going to be able to pump it any much anymore except for this engine over here. Um, and then uh, Junior Lieutenant, tick, tick, she's prepared to fix up the science base. So things aren't that bad. The ship's getting closer to the nucleus. Um, and if she can get the science bay fixed, we can maybe get some data going. Uh, how much data do we need to get? We need to get, I think, 80 points of data in order to succeed in the mission. Right now we have zero. And it's not data. It's uh, of scrambling. 80, 80 units worth of scrambling. So let's look at the what else happened. Um, these two did manage to fix the two Marines here. They managed to fix the cannon. Uh, Merker came up to help. He wasn't much help. Capazoid pretty much did it by herself. Um, meanwhile, Snugbug tried to fix the missile bay. That didn't work. Um, and the ship managed to get increased in speed. And uh, I think Little Red brought the out of control level down. So now the bots are going to move. And then we'll we'll see what happens. And that is going to end phase two without much more going on. Um, the bots have changed the energy levels on their ship. They pumped up the guns, but that's pretty much it. Their ship doesn't seem to be moving anymore. So now we're in phase three. Uh, we're going to move the ships up. And let's see, their speed is, yep, they're going to move. And this missile is going to do. The Marines repair job has not been um, as good as last time, but that's all right, right? You don't really need missiles. Um, you do need a science bay, however, and Junior Lieutenant Tic Tac had no problem doing that. Now she's heading over to damage control to try and uh, get rid of some of the hull damage that uh, occurred earlier. Um, she's not the only engineer on the move. Chapachak is going over to the sick bay here, and maybe he'll end up making his way up here to fix all of this. Uh, it doesn't hurt for the Marines to actually be trying to repair right now because you're not really close enough to get a good shot on anything, except for the missiles. It would help if the missile bay was working. Um, other than that, fairly uneventful phase. Again, uh, we're in phase three. The bots uh, did one hell maneuver. You could see they turned here. They're trying to head towards you. And um, I think that's about it. That is where things are at the end of phase three. Uh, whoops, whoops, sorry. Now we're moving on to phase four. 
and you've managed to not get hit by electrons, which is great. All right, so it's reading up on damage control. This is actually the first mission I've used damage control in, and I was I was wrong. These two should have actually been fixed up, and the reason why is the damage control gives a plus three to repair checks. Um, I so th this might have been, or the missile bay might have been fixed even last turn or last phase, but they're fixed now. Uh, we've we've managed to repair <laughs> that error on my part. Okay, this phase, phase four, Merker and Snugbug successfully launched a missile. Uh, Capazoy is preparing to shoot her cannon, uh, waiting for the ship to close in, and that's similar to what um, our scientists are doing here. They're waiting for it to get closer to um, its mark. Reason being is every attempt they, they do uh, with their science bay, it increases the difficulty, which is increases the the amount of bang they get for their buck. So, by preparing, they're assured to to move up one. So I think probably next phase they're going to start using it. Um, other than that, you know, things uh, things have come back and kind of gotten all fixed up for the most part. I, I think there might be a maybe snug bugs a little wounded up there, but everyone else seems to be doing well. Um, ship is full on shields. Got some a uh, little bit of gun power issues. Maybe, maybe you could pump some engines for some more gun power uh, next time. So when they close in, bots pretty much they just did some engine pumping and turned their their ship so it's facing. Problem with that is now they're they're going to be able to shoot at the ship. Their their cannon was um, blocked by the planet and then by the ship itself before because it's how it's positioned. It's on the side of the the ship. And now, it, uh, you know, as the human ship gets closer, the Publucklin Ren, it, I know it's not staffed by humans, but this is a, a human um, model of ship, um, the bots are also going to get closer and be able to shoot at them. Capazoid and Merker just got off a, a nice shot with the, the forward, that's called the um, stern cannon. Um, the stern cannon shot through the the bot ship there and took out their engineer. The bot ship, remember, is small, so they only have one engineer. That's going to be a problem for them power-wise. Um, nice shooting, Capazoid and Merker. Furthermore, our two scientists, we have we have duos working as a team. Actually, three duos. Um, actually, four duos working as a team, and then Snugbug's kind of the odd man out. Um, the two pilots, they've been kind of uh, speeding up the ship and doing all that stuff. Our scientists, they did our, their first scrambling action on um, the, the atom there. Here we can see on my whiteboard over there, there's a bed in between me and the whiteboard, so I kind of have to climb around to get to it. Um, 13, got to get 80, guys. Um, so they did that, and then the engineers with um, Chapak over here, he, he uh, helped, he assisted remotely. Uh, bumped up the, the energy for the guns there, and so the guns were able to be a lot more effective than they otherwise would be. Uh, it's phase five. The bots have uh, just increased their speed, which is going to help them out. Uh, the faster you're going, the harder it is to hit. Um, unfortunately, an electron has just hit the ship once more, uh, and so I have to roll a whole bunch of dice. Partially, don't be so afraid of these dice. Partially, it's a lot because I have to set this down just to hold them all. Partially, it's a lot because um, of your shields. You add more dice if you have shields, and then you get to take that many of the highest dice away. That's how it works. The higher dice are worse for you than lower dice. That's an avalanche. Look at this die here. It has some like sort of chocolate stain or something. I don't know what that is. Mm, I'm not going to eat it. All right, let's take away seven dice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's the seven highest. This one tied for the highest, but we keep it anyway. So that's not so bad. That's not going to. It's a, one mod module is going to be damaged here. Anything higher than three is going to damage a module. The others are just going to hurt people if they happen to be there. And then I think they probably cause hull damage as well. We'll have to see. So let's see which direction they're coming from. Uh, one, two, three, four, like before. We'll roll this black die because it's an official game die. This game comes with black dice. These other dice are not all from this game. Two comes from the side. Um, we'll do a 
targeting hit, this will be our seven axis, I think. Axis, this will be seven, um, six, five, eight, nine, ten, I guess. That's how we'll do it. Oops, I need to save that. We'll use a black and a white. And that's a seven right down the middle there. Um, so no one's going to get injured, but this life support is damaged. I'm not so clear on life support being damaged if that hurts, starts hurting people right away or if it's like after, you know, when they're jumping away on the map. I'll have to check on that. But that's damaged, and it looks like these two are going to um, suffer a six-sided six um, die worth of damage. All right, near as I can tell, what this means is that these it's an overstressed life support. As long as there's one working life support on the ship, if this one goes down, then people are going to have to start rolling every round. But right now, if they can get it fixed before the mission's over, it shouldn't be a problem, I don't think. Um, I'm kind of unclear on it, but that's that's my reading of it. So now i got to roll damage for these two. Um, I actually already did that. It's two sixes. Now, um, Little Red, he has a special effect that happens when he gets hurt, so we'll have to see what that is. Okay, so here's what happens to Little Red. He takes one point of damage, and then he goes one, two, three, four, five. He goes, wee! It turns into kinetic energy. Um, kind of like, I don't know if you've ever read a comic book before, but there's a comic book ca character called, I believe, Speedball. Uh, I remember that from the 90s and Speedball, if he got hit by something, he would just bounce around and he'd go wee and he, he seemed like the most fun in the world. Um, so he, there's no sense in him using luck to re-roll because uh, you know, he, can just, he can just move back over there if he wants. Um, it is going to cost him some though. If he has to move and then do an action, I think he gets a penalty. That's kind of a disadvantage for him. Chapachach, he is going to use some luck though because he does not want to get that hurt. And he got a four. Let's see where, what his life is like. Dun, good dun. The more characters I get, the longer each turn takes. That makes sense, doesn't it? So I have to look through all of these sheets all the time and keep track of all these things, but it's fun. It really is. Yeah, so that's still going to hurt him quite a bit. I think he's going to even want to re-roll that. Hmm. Ah, he's a risk taker. He'll he'll take it. Let's move on ahead. Can you see that? That's a one. It's. I'm going to get a different die down here. It's kind of, whenever I film down there, there's, oh, there. If I just stand to the side, my shadow doesn't get in the way. All right. Uh, phase six. This, that scramble number, is. that's the amount of scrambles we have. The other number, 15, that's the current hull damage. So we were, we were able to do some repairs and also um, get a little bit more scrambling done on this um, this uh, atom type thing there. Uh, other than that, not a lot has happened. Um, the bots try to shoot at the ship, but luckily it's going too fast. Oh, and another electron is about to slam into the ship at the end of phase six of round one here. Um, once again, electrons. I hope you guys can figure out how to keep that from happening because it's a lot of damage. A lot of damage. Chapak is about to, to repair the life support probably next phase unless he gets taken down here. Let's see. Okay, so let's take a look at what we got. And we can get rid of seven of these again, so don't be too too upset. One, two, three, four, five. And not a bad roll anyway for us. Six, seven. We'll get rid of this yucky chocolatey one. Seven. So that's going to give us a bunch of ones. That's not bad at all. All right. Let's see from what direction it's coming. Three. One, two, three. It's coming from the back. Seven is the middle. That's an eight. So that'll be right up here. That could hit the... Oh, that, that is going to probably damage Chapak and maybe take him out. Shoot. That's not good, but luckily we're not going to lose an engine. It's not going to be damaged. It'll be like three, three, two is all going on the ship, and then we'll have some extra damage there. Oh, wait, is this four? I lost track of what was going on. This four should have gone instead of this three. That was, that was it. So it should be three, 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 I believe. You can correct me if I'm wrong when you, if you're watching this, and I will adjust it. This will be the end of this video anyway, after I've worked out uh, the bad stuff.
And Chapak's rule uh, role was a two that he's just barely hanging on. Hopefully Dr. Zush can repair him before next time and hopefully we can ensure that we don't take any more of these nasty blasts from the um, electrons. Oh, I forgot to even tell you, I said not much happened, but something did happen. Um, Calbot did manage to, to dodge the enemy missile, and then Capazoid shot it, so the missile's gone. You don't have to worry about that. So I think we're seeing, you know, the, the bot enemy hasn't been too much of a problem. They're kind of an annoyance, but it seems like the electrons are far worse. Um, I think, you know, the tactical maneuvers of the group can definitely deal with this bot ship. Um, those of you watching and who are participating in this, what I really need you to do is figure out this whole electron business because I can't do that. I can only deal with the missiles and the spot ship. I can't deal with the electrons. And I don't know if, if I mean, we got fairly lucky that time. And also, you know, this is a good crew, good stout crew. Still got fairly lucky that time. Uh, Chapak is almost gone.